So my boy Jay Cutler texted me back and he said he's gonna be here in 30 minutes. What do you want to train? I warm up with two plates. Listen, I don't want to make him look bad, all right? First person I trained with that he never corrected their form. I'm so much bigger than him. Really nice father son. You gotta love it. Honk if you like chopped liver. What's going on everybody? Jesse James West here. Hope you're ready for an amazing video. Today, La Divad La Day is behind the camera. And we are gonna be going to a new gym today here in Las Vegas. And then we're gonna see where the day takes us. It's our last day in Vegas. So we have quite the uh, extravaganza ahead of us. I'm excited. We're gonna get a good workout. I got my coffee. We're getting breakfast. It might not be the morning. It's actually 1 p.m. But you know what? It ain't a problem. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, hit the like button, turn on post notifications, do all the good stuff. I really appreciate it. Cheers. <laughs> Basic men. Egg whites for the boy right here. Here you are, sir. Thank you. All right, for breakfast, we're keeping it light because we kind of ate a lot yesterday. Some fruit, some egg whites, and some dopamine. You guys know the rules. The last bite will always and forever remain the best bite. All right, ladies and gents, we are heading over to Fit Club Las Vegas. It's a very famous gym out here. My good friend David Lade is gone. He's playing poker at the Caesars Palace. So with that said, we have no choice but to go get a lift alone today. It's okay, I'll get over it. My heart's a little broken, but I'm excited. Maybe we'll meet some cool people while we're there. It's a very popping spot and uh, we'll have some fun. All right, ladies and gents, we are here at Fit Club LV. I've never been here. I heard it's a nightclub or a strip club at night. No clue, but we're gonna head inside. So as you see, this is definitely a proper Las Vegas gym. I feel like this is like Vegas and then a heavy metal workout place combined also with like a little fit girl vibe to it all the pink neon lights we're gonna hit it all right so my boy jay cutler has texted me back and he said he's gonna be here in 30 minutes so we're gonna kill some cardio i was gonna do legs but now we might have to do like a chest and arm day just because if you're with a legend actually maybe he'll maybe he'll want to do legs but we'll see it's gonna be up to him we'll hit some posing and everything but for now i'm gonna hop on the stairmaster kill my cardio for the day in the meantime we don't want to waste any time we have a full day ahead of us I see Jay around all oh, the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> are we training? You're training me? What yeah, are we yeah, doing? We're, we're training if you want to work out. What do you want to train? Should we do legs or should we do chest and arms? I, what do you think the people want to say? I feel like legs will like kill me. I don't train that heavy, so. No? Alright. Let's do chest and arms. We'll do a very bro workout. A little free for the boys. You guys know the vibes. Transfer Labs, Code Jesse. 10% off. What are you sipping on? You got your own free brand, right? My own brand. He's got his own. I'm not gonna lie, that went a lot smoother than I thought it was gonna go. Do you know how to bruise dry scoops? You know, you're supposed to have a certain amount of fluid in order for it to work it's correctly. Work so as a supplement owner, I hate when people dry scoop. They flavor <laughs> things for the taste as yes, you mix yes. them. Normally, normally I don't dry scoop, but I just only have this, so. And I would've given you a cup. <laughs> just ask for a cup next time. Ladies and gents, we're getting into this chest workout. Incline hammer, bro. We're All gonna right. get this uh, two warm-up sets or feel sets, and then we'll go into like three working sets. All right, I'll follow your lead. You're the, you're the pro. I'm the skinny dude. I warm up with two plates. It's gonna make me look good. <laughs> Listen, I don't wanna make them look bad, all right? It's actually Jay's uh, max. He just doesn't wanna admit it. Nice. So we are training. How close are you training to failure? Do you work up to like a top set? So my training, and it's been this way since I was a kid, I always do high volume. For a chest, I would do like six movements. I would do three yeah. sets each, like 20 sets per yeah. body part, right? How many times a week are you hitting the muscle? Once every once, one, seven okay. days, that's it. The higher volume you train, you need more recovery time. Normally I'd be sore for four days, so I would need that recovery time. So everyone has their own theory now on, okay, this is how you grow, but listen, I've done trial and error to get where I got. Yeah, I feel like everyone has to kind of do their own trial and error to see And you know what, and everyone's different. The yeah. type of training you do may not be the training that works yeah. for me or the next person. I probably do 40 sets of a muscle in a week, which is a lot. Like, some people are calling me like, 
crazy. I don't know. I played college cross and stuff, yeah, yeah. and I was double sessions. My body was so efficient. Like it was always had to recover, and I was fueling it with so much yeah, food. Yeah. My body like adapted in a way. I'm like I'm very I'm very quick to recover, and it could it might not adapt to do it. It's just been that way where I just recover like this. For me, if I'm only hitting it once a week with like 20 sets, I feel like I, I could do more. Not I'm sore. sure it helps you stay leaner though. You don't do a lot of cardio work, do you? I do if I want to get like sharp. I'll do like say the last seven days. How much cardio you've done? I, I'll do like 20 days. minutes a day. It's not a lot. Yeah, you know, not not like an hour. A bodybuilder yeah. gets ready for a show. We do 45 minutes in the morning, 45 at night, but yeah, we that, train. My, my body's pretty efficient at burning, but I mean, that's me, you know, it's different with everybody. So your metabolism is probably good yeah. too, you know? Yeah. Sure. We eat good, baby. How many? We're going to do as many as you can do, bro. I'm going to shoot for 12, but okay. I want you so to get 13. I, I expect at least 10 from you. Okay. Okay. You just double my size and expect only under two. Ready? When I was at my peak, I didn't bring a phone in the gym. If my training partner wasn't allowed to have a phone, I didn't want to hear about any drama. I feel like there's, I feel like there's more passion in it. Well, in a different way. way. There was the only way we made money was endorsements and contest yep. winning. So it wasn't like you could create content yeah. and get paid. And yeah. now you can monetize everything you do so much. I mean, that's why you don't need accolades to be successful in the fitness. Yeah, that's why exactly. I asked you, do you plan to compete? Yeah. Because you, know? you don't Very necessarily true. have to compete, you know? Come on, keep going. Come on. Go. I may have gotten more than him. Did I? Comment below. I didn't count. How did you hit me up? Today? I hit you through the DMs. No, but how did you like know I was here? I remember Kenny's video. Okay. Yeah. And I was like, I think he lives in Vegas, so I'll yeah, just yeah. hit him up and see if he wants to come live. Get a great session. Maybe teach me posing later yeah. too. I'll teach. I'll teach some men's physique poses. The pretty boy poses. <laughs> Dude, listen. I promote. I listen, promote shows. Listen, I might not have the calves to back it up. Got some legs, man. But I, the legs, I'll drop them right now. I'll drop them right now. Put some legs on them. You see these bad boys? I see these bad boys. Yeah. <laughs> I used to rip my pants down in the middle of the gym and pose if you watch some of my old videos online. That's sus, man. That's pretty sus. But respect. Last set, best set. I always say last bite, best bite. Here you go. Say contraction now, contraction. Good. A couple more, two sets. Come on. One more, one more. Go. Perfect, good. Oh. How important would you say to grow muscle is the squeeze? All the contraction. So the idea is to make the weight feel heavier than it is. What people tend to do is they push with the triceps in the shoulder. So a lot of people when they press, they do this. What you really want to do is keep the chest high like you are and push and out squeeze. and really contract. You actually want your chest to pop and hit your chin as much as okay. possible. But you notice when I do mine, I kind of tuck and I push. If you're not feeling the chest contract, then lighten up the weight and push to it. You heard it here first. Are you the mean lord? Is that you? That's uh, Fashion Nova. Oh. <laughs> He's a meme lord. <laughs> We're gonna do flat dumbbell press, okay? Now, through my training, bro, I always focus on more dumbbells. Why? I was always weaker or stronger on one side, and I feel that dumbbells are the best contraction. I never flat barbell bench oh, press. Oh, you never did? Never. Really? Only when I first started. For a bodybuilder or someone trying to constantly put on muscle, it's the worst exercise for the shoulder joint. So we focus more on dumbbells. Safe, better contraction, yes. all the good stuff. So we're gonna dumbbells. start with a weight. We're gonna do like a feel set, and then we're gonna do three sets all in, okay? All right, let's do it. So let's pick a weight that you feel like you can get 10 or 12 reps with first, and then we're gonna start working our way up. Perfect. You see, the thing is, these weights are real. Bradley Martin Zoo Culture, they're light as hell. Brad, fix your weights. Tell how serious his training is. You see his sweaty hat right there? That means you're training hard. Or he just needs a new hat, one or the other. <laughs> I think it's the second one. Jay's gonna teach me how to get a big chest and big arm. I'm gonna teach him how to be a crazy YouTuber and go pick up girls in the street of Las Vegas. You ready for that? I have a Latina girlfriend. I don't think she'd like that very much. She'll take you out. <laughs> I'm feeling like I'm the next Jay Cutler. You, okay? you should be motivated, bro. Your picture will be on the wall. Yeah. Are they still working on that for me? I see no. The Rock. I see you. I, I don't see me over there. It's coming soon to a theater near you. Build your legacy, bro. Let's yeah. Go.
Come on. There you go. After years of bodybuilding, your mind-muscle connection must be like immaculate. Yeah, you know what's crazy? When I used to train, like the day before, I'd leave the gym, be driving home, and I'd be already putting my mind into the next day's workout. So I knew exactly, when I walked in the gym, exactly what movement I was gonna do. Yeah. I already envisioned myself going through it. That's how focused I was. Yeah, like I love lifting, I love bodybuilding. But my, my main, main passion, my number one passion is definitely like creating videos and like entertainment and stuff. Cause that's just kind of like, I grew up what on that first. Your start? Yeah. Like 12. Like I was making lacrosse videos for years. And when did you launch your YouTube channel? This one, 2016. So you were how old then? I was 16. Okay. About a, about a full year ago, it took off. And I've grown like half a million in a year. But it took like four years to get to anywhere near that. And then it went to my passion. Like I did it when it when It's it a lot of working. time for you though, right? Yeah. Just to edit, edit all my videos in a week is like 30 hours of work. Do you do the edit yourself? Not anymore. Or? I'm luckily like, but I, but I knew in the beginning when I was doing it, it was yeah. like grind now so I can afford paying someone to do it later. Do you vlog videos like yourself or? I do sometimes. I prefer being a cameraman. Yeah, yeah. Because I like, it's more natural. Okay. And like they can read my body. And you like doing collabs or you like doing your yeah, own stuff? Yeah, I like collabs, you know, because there's like good conversations. Is there a best uh, collab you've ever done with someone that you think, or you don't want to say that which one was the best? I mean, you would I choose the best videos. by the number one viewed video. It's called like picking up girls on Tinder. I asked her to work out because we met on Tinder and I had this idea of doing like a fit girl workout and then that has like 2 million views and that kind of sparked this whole other direction of videos that I She must do. have been pretty hot, huh? One would say, yeah. <laughs> Noelle, hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm gonna go check it out now. Last set This here. is the last one? Yeah, yeah. So let's let's make sure we push it here. Yeah, should we slap hundreds? Now I want you to get some reps. So yeah, let's, yeah. Let's well, stay with 95. I want prematurely. Leave the ego at the door. I left my dignity at the door. My contraction now, remember. Don't, don't just put, push through here. Come on. Alright, come on. Come on. Push! Alright, one more, bro. Come on. Yeah, get it. You got one more. One more. One more. Push. Ready? Go! Yeah, easy, easy. Uh, you know it's good when your leg just starts going like this. <laughs> but you know what's impressive? He doesn't drop the dumbbells on the corners like most of the people would. But if you're gonna slam a dumbbell, always slam it flat. Never drop it on the ends. As a gym owner, we hate that uh, you know you bend the yeah. dumbbells, right? Don't be like that. Don't be mean to the floors. So since I'm training Jay today and I'm uh, you know a Mr. Olympia in the past, just put my face on that real quick with editing. There you go, you see that? That's Jesse right there. We're gonna be doing some chest flies. All right, so watch watch the chest, how the chest stays high on this. That's the important thing. So see how his shoulders are back and his chest stays out and he's contracting the chest, okay? I almost imagine that I have arms facing the other way and they're like reaching around. Like my shoulder blades are wrapping around the back plate like this and that kind of helps keep my chest up. The first person I trained with, I didn't have to correct their form. Okay. Next set, he's like, no, that's not right, it. You see this grip I'm doing? Oh, shit. A little different, okay? Yeah. I think it's time for a tarp off. A little tarps off for the boys. Am I right, Jay? I'm just so much bigger than him, it's crazy. The second you actually try to like really, really contract it and focus on that, you do like half the amount of reps. It really humbles you. It's a really nice father-son bonding. Mom promised me this would happen. I really don't know what it is, but in Las Vegas, your gyno dissolves. How far out do you think I would be for a show? If you turn around, let me see the back. Uh, four weeks. Four weeks? Should I, do I, should I do a show in four weeks? At what age what? did you start lifting again? 18. That's just insane, like the genetic variance. I was the strongest kid in high school. I could bench, I benched 315 in high school when I was a junior. 315, just chilling. I had 315 after like four years of working out. Some side is like bigger. I have three brothers and they were all skinny guys, you know? I no one else in my family lifted weights. That doesn't make me think of Mike O'Hearn. He was like one of yeah, like yeah. Well, six, seven, he's eight, crazy. I mean, even his child is crazy yeah. muscular already. His kid's like one years old and shit. ridiculously large. When I was 18, he was like 20, 
three maybe. He was on American Gladiators. He was undefeated on Gladiators, you know? But he was an athlete. He was like, at 13, he was 250 or some shit. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Like, what are you, what's in the water? We did a video, myself, him and Larry Wheels, and yeah. watch the different techniques. But his power training, you know, and then Michael Hearn is control. When I squat and do a lot of pressing, it's similar to his. You always have constant tension, right? Yeah. You're not always, you're never really locking out or touching all the way down. You have to just focus on the contraction. That's how you grow muscles. It's the mind of muscle, and it takes a long time to build that, right? You don't develop that right away, and I try to teach these younger kids, because if you watch a kid bench press, they're like this. They just power through, and they're using their shoulders, their triceps. You know? I think I know a guy. I think I know a guy. <laughs> like Mike's 50-something years old, and he's still able to bench press 500 pounds. There's a reason because of the control. Like most guys, their shoulders are gone. They can't do a lot of movement. But you got to make sure you keep the rotation in your delts. When you were young, did you use like a lot of pre-workouts and caffeine? I know nothing because it didn't like, exist. You're saying that like us youngsters are like taking like amphetamines and shit. I hate, the, and I hate stuff. the dry scoop. I scooped it in front of him and he was just like, he's like, I make oh these God. supplements for flavor and they yeah, just dry so scoop it. My pre-workout in my era was a cup of coffee from uh, McDonald's. Wow. Gotta shoot with this guy. This guy's crazy. I can do a backflip. Can you do a backflip? You can do it. My guy, what's good? What's your name? Kumo. Kumo? Yeah. He's doing some crazy First of all, do something crazy first. Oh! What the? All right, ready? All right, ready? we're standing back. Oh, wait, let me. Whoo! All right, ready? One, two, three. I can do better. Hold on. Somewhat. I'm not gonna lie, I'm seeing a lot of stars right now, so I'm gonna calm down. My guy. Thank you, bro. Hell yeah, bro. All right, we got a crazy man. He's doing backflips. Let's see what happens. Alright, I'm ready, my turn. <laughs> Just replay the clip of him. Do that no? no, that's definitely a Las Vegas thing. Vegas is a little, it's bred differently. Built different! All right, so Jay's gonna take me through a men's physique posing. Apparently I'm four weeks out, so maybe we're gonna hop on stage. Maybe he's my new coach, we'll see. I know some of the poses. I obviously know like this, you know, this, and then. I don't do it properly, so I'll just take me through it and let's just we'll do it. Was it raining? Yeah. Yeah. Never rains in Vegas. Really? Till you show up. Till I show up. It's raining! I haven't heard a thunderstorm in ages. I'm in love with this. Alright, good out. Good. Yeah. Do I need to do anything with this? Yeah, just keep that. Keep that. So do you have to put your hand on your head? You don't have to, it's just a lot of guys do that. But the main thing is is you're gonna stay tight with the abs and keep the shoulder square, right? Then you can do it, you can alternate with the hand on the hip too. Just make sure when you reset, the abs stay down. You know what I mean? And then we got transition right yep. in the back. So put, yep, turn around to the back. This is like the awkward spot for me. You don't want to look like you're riding a motorcycle. Your yeah, hands exactly. are perfect. So good, good. Yeah. Okay, pop it in, pop the abs, good. Make sure that shoulder square, good. Yeah, there you go, there you go. See this. Let me just see this. But I know it's not a pose. Let me just see your most muscular pose. Just good. Do I get my traps? Yeah. No, no, not too Yeah, I don't like no, traps. Good. Good. Abs and thighs. Let's do this pose. Should I pull? Yeah, so you, you want to do is you want to pull and uh, just really because it will, yeah, there you go. But stay tall a little bit. Good. Good, yeah. So that brings that in, you yeah. see that detail? Yeah. Wow, I'm lightheaded. Good. Posing's a lot harder than people think. It's like, it takes it's a, a lot, lot of work. Of so you should spend 30 minutes a day practicing your posing, at least five days a week. So as you transition to a show, that's what the craziest part. The last six weeks, definitely posing for at least 30 minutes daily. Yeah. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Like, you know what we were talking about earlier? I was like, I don't have that itch to compete. Like training with you and doing the posing, I kinda wanna compete. Four that, weeks out, baby, what, four <laughs> weeks out. <laughs> it's only four weeks, is like nice to hear. I'm not like, oh, you're 12 weeks out. Like, that would suck. We competing, David? This makes me wanna actually compete. Cause I know it'd just be like really rewarding. Around the right gym and like atmosphere, I definitely feel like I'd wanna compete. Dance with me, Jay. Come on. Hey, hey. Hey! <laughs> My man, it has been a pleasure to meet you. Thank you for training today. It's an honor to be in your presence. Maybe I'm gonna compete. Maybe I will. Four weeks, I'll check in with you. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the subscribe button. Follow Jay, all of his links are down below. It's been a pleasure, my man. Everyone, you killed it. thank you. I'm happy for you, man. Keep killing it and uh, we'll see you in four weeks, man. Four weeks, baby. Don't forget to stay relentless. Peace. Yeah.